Hi, my name is Sheila. I'm from Louisiana, south of New Orleans, and this is actually my maiden voyage. <laughs> I spent my first night in Cracker Barrel in Tallahassee and didn't sleep very well, but after we got here last night, I slept. I slept so good. It was uh -huh. awesome. But I have so much to learn, and I'm excited about meeting all these new people and learning things and going to see their vans. This, I bought this from uh, WeatherTech to keep, because she likes to put her paws on here and look out the window. And I love this thing, because if I have to run into the store quick, I put one on each door mm. and I lock it to where she can't unlock it and all. Mm. And um, I can keep the car running. Anyway, it protects this and it protects, it keeps her safer. I use the WeatherTech. Um, window um, coverings and I love them. They fit perfectly. WeatherTech door um, protector. Yeah. I hadn't seen those. And that's for, for the animals, for the dogs. And it, it just, see it comes with these little things and it just slips right in there. This is my box with the compostable bags. Okay. And I learned this from Lady Bug Out. Yes. She uses a little compost bin. So it fits well in here because if I need it at night, I could put it there if I was to need it. If not, like I didn't use it at all last night, I can just keep it keep it in the front um, of the way during the daytime. I just I pour in there with um, gels your urine. Mm -hmm. And then this is um, the pellets, the paper Pellets, uh -huh. horse pellets, and I add a little water yes. to it because that's what Lady Bug Out did oh. so to get it ready. That way, it's easier to pour. Yes, and it co it's easier to cover. Okay, this is a, just a mosquito net, and I just use these clips um, to keep the bugs out. And I just use these little thingies here, and then it magnetically closes. Yeah, it magnetically closes like that. It fits barely, but it does fit. And so, if they got bugs, I could just keep that on in the daytime. I got it from Amazon, but I got it like last year. So I don't remember the size at all. This I just put up too, a dead shell outdoor awning. I put these things up by myself. Oh, you they, added you I added those. I added these. These, um, so it's a, it's the Thule brands. The only, I, they didn't come, my van didn't come with the rails on the top. So that's the only thing I found that would fit my van. Mm -hmm. They wanted $500 to put them on. So I figured it out and I put it on myself. It's a Dodge Grand Caravan 2018. It doesn't have any electronics, no bells and whistles like that. It's just it, but it only had like 30,000 miles when I bought it, mm -hmm. and it was um, I want to say like 27, 28,000. So I thought it was a really good deal. Yeah, it was a mail truck. This lady used it just to deliver mail. Mm. Which they even had the steering wheel over here. Oh, <laughs> they had to take out for me. This. Is a um, six and a half by six and a half outdoor awning, uh -huh. which I had help putting that up because he had to drill some holes in it tree up here. And he had to these brackets here. Well, they came with them, but he, he had to drill the holes. And um, But I opened it up myself. I could do it myself the first day. I didn't need his help. I unzipped it, I pulled it out, pulled the things out. It's not hard at all. All right, good I to know. It. I love it. So this is just a little knack I have to keep my chargers uh, for my different things in one place. CD case. I ordered that off of Amazon. It, it holds. I put all my chargers and I kind of tape it in there and write on there what wood chargers is for what. So Beautiful. I don't forget because they, it's so easy to misplace them and I've mm -hmm. done it so many times. Mm -hmm. This is my fridge. It's a 16 watt Alpacool. I mean 16 liter, sorry. And I have that running on my 700 watt Blue Eddy. Mm -hmm. And it'll keep it powered like for two days until I have to go and until it run down my Blue Eddy and I have to recharge it again. Something, but um keep it covered and I love these cutting boards I use because I can can I take this down oh yeah that way it's easier to... so show how easy it is to take down like instant yeah. <laughs> and then I use these boards 
for a lot of things. These are cutting boards, but I'll use it to stand stuff on so it don't spill. Things mm -hmm. don't spill. Like I could throw it here if I need to put my cup down. Or I can throw it on the bed. Like I have her fan on that little cutting board over there. Mm -hmm. This is also, I have the blue Blue Audi 700 one, and I have this Jacquery 240, which is perfect for uh, my phone and my fans, and I'll run off of that one. And, and, and so you use the Blue Eddy for your refrigerator? Solely for my fridge, yeah. That's good, dedicated. This is a little garbage that I keep here, and I keep it clipped, so that's what I use for my garbage can. Good. And under there, just mm -hmm. all my potty stuff mm -hmm. there. And that that's not the chair that came in your van, is yes, it? It is? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, we can start here. This is like my little nightstand. And I put this little vegetable thing, uh, the macrame holder, vegetables, but I use it for snacks and all. I wear contacts, so I have my contact cleaner stuff here. Anything I might want at night, my water bottle, my scissors. I have a flashlight here and clips if I need to clip anything. My back scratcher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, like, um, cute tips I keep in here. I keep, like, Tylenol and Excedrin. I need that. And then, like, my eye drops and chapstick. This is a little bottle of alcohol with cotton balls because I get Charlie horses in my legs. Mm -hmm. And my mom always taught me to rub yourself with alcohol. Mm. And it helps. It does help me. Oh, that's good. I get a Charlie horse attack. This is a bin that I keep just mostly sissy's food and stuff. And then this is a light, a little bin for my fans and my lights. Like here, let me show you. These are my lights. At night that I have. This doesn't need to be plugged in. This is like a lantern. That's nice. Um, and then this is carbon monoxide detector. This is my little coloring book and stugs if I want to, you know, if it's raining and I want to sit back in my chair and I can do some little art things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is, if it's really hot, this is a light and it blows, to, you can put water in here Ooh. and it blows out mist. Mm. I don't know if it came out on camera, but it definitely, oh, I think you, oh, you can really see it on camera. That is beautiful. What's the brand of that? It just says Hand Fan. That is it, I bet. The name yeah. is Hand Fan. Hand Fan. I hear I have netting on the outside, keep down, and then I have these magnetic curtains. Like at night, I keep this down and keep the netting up, but I can put this up in here. It's on the outside. Magnets on the outside yeah. for the netting. And at night, this is what I did. I just left it up all night. The netting. And I put this up. And I left this like this. For so a little was, breeze. Yeah, just enough breeze to come in and keep me cool. So I have this fan for me. It's a dub. It's a double fan too. This plugs into my Jackery at night. And it has a hook that goes around the um, headrest. It just, yeah. This little, it came with this, which is a stand. It's really made for men hunting. It's a oh. hunting thing that they can, or fishing thing that they put in their backpacks. And I bought these hooks. Oh, it's separate. Yeah, that's separate. So I just hang it on there. Very and it blows cool. right on me when I'm mm. sleeping. It only uses like three watts I think. Mm -hmm. This one uses a little more wattage but I can go up and down with this one as far as the um, speed of the fan. Mm -hmm. This is something when I saw you mm -hmm. on one of your uh, things and with the headlight mm -hmm. you don't have issues. See this it goes up to three settings, and this is perfect for putting around your neck, walking to the bathroom at night. You don't have to hold on to the light, blinding anybody. Hands free. Hands free, and it's you. This charges into the um, the Blue Eddy. Oh, you charge it that way. It's called. I don't know to do so. It's a USB charge. Uh, Let's yeah. see. How do you print? Oh, it's V E K 
K E K K I A Vecchia. I learned this from Creativity or me. This is a um, a wardrobe bar that was made, I guess, for for cars and for bigger vans. Uh, but it slips into these things here just perfectly. The little gray thing fits in there. It's very strong. So I put. Put my jacket on the end. Up here, I have shower hooks for me. Shower curtain I had. So I hang my keys here. I can hang my. Uh, this is a USB light that plugs into my battery that I use at night. This works really, really well to all well, my light solutions. It's one of my favorites because it. Like some people do. I had, but then I didn't like it because I felt that it took up too much room. It was yes. bulky. I took it down, and so I just used the, um, you know, the weather tech uh, window covering up front, and just leave it up there. And I feel like it's more open. This one is a Lucy light. This is solar, and or it's USB. Okay. So I keep it. I usually use it. Just keep a charger with my USB because it stays charged a long time. And I just before I came on a trip, I made sure all my little things was charged up, so mm -hmm. I knew it was gonna last for a few days. For now, I can retire either in May or, but I'll, if I do that, I won't have insurance, health insurance. I have to wait till I'm 65, which would be three more years, where my health insurance would be paid for. So I'm kind of on the fence there I'm gonna stop and see exactly how much the insurance is gonna cost me but I'll get my uh, my pension and my social security I can pull them both in May but I won't have no health insurance coverage Ooh. so mm -hmm. it's just such a struggle so I figure I'm gonna just start doing this see how much I like it and and everything you know and just one of the ladies here told me she'd been doing it for nine years and she's been using health the government um, health insurance but she said in those nine years she wouldn't trade those memories for anything mm -hmm. a fire extinguisher I need one of those too keep that in the door on that sign first alert is the brand name probably yeah I ordered it off of Amazon to it's one that you know would fit in the car yeah it fits right down in her little right there in my little holder. Cup holder so if I decide to cook something right here or something you know I'll have this to nice. wear it's easy to grab this is a baby diaper uh thing a little girl at work had a baby when I saw that I said oh that would be useful so for camping so in here I keep my deodorant, all my bathroom stuff, my face cleansers, everything, scrub, razor, everything I would need there. And here I have a mirror, towel like a shower cap, but this is a core mirror. Mm. I can stick it right here and do my makeup, which that's in here. So it all together. fits in here and I can just pack it all up and bring it all to the bathroom with me. Or I can sit right here. This is what I, a whistle protection too, but this is what I use when I go walk her. The, um, I keep wipes in here and then this to pick up if she uses the bathroom or anything. But mm -hmm. keep that right there. By it's the your doors. dog walk fanny pack. Right, my dog, so it's easy to grab. It is. And it's smaller, it fits in a little small bin. You can't, the only thing you can't keep the butane in there, um, you have to take it out, you know, to store it. So, but it's a smaller gas one. And so, so it fit here, but your butane's got to come out. This is a little bitty teapot. It's meant for... No way, a teapot. I bought this on, uh, I bought Ridge Monkey from a website called the Ridge Monkey that men use it for fishing and stuff. They bring it in their backpacks. It's made in England, um, United Kingdom. But on their website was also this little teapot. And see the because of the the way it's made, it won't let water like that. Mm. Because the more water is at you know the 
the bottom spreads so it, it out. Yeah, like I don't know how they call it. It warms it up really, really quick. Bread, um, like egg sandwiches, cooked sausage in it, anything you, you can just you can flip it and it'll. Wow. It cooks. Really good. Like a grilled cheese sandwich or a uh, like pancake or um, what do you call it? A uh, French toast and <laughs> any anything. This I just put all my coffee stuff and just grab this and my sugars and creamers, my coffee. Oh, I use this to make you know with the pour over coffee. That's what I um, with the filters. Are these just any filters? coffee filter pretty much? Yeah, the uh, they're the cone shaped ones. It's what I bought. I, I would think you could use any kind. Okay. And then you just warm up the water on the stove. And I'm sorry, my coffee cup's dirty. But I would have my grinds in here. And then just pour the water in there, and then your coffee comes in there. I bought this you can buy, you know, for, for the vans, and I'll keep I keep my um, nettings in here for the windows. And I thought well, this would match my van better because I like the gold and the sun. Pretty, it's gorgeous. And so I keep my magnets in here. Mm -hmm. They're easy to find. That with any clips I may need, things like that. Oh, this is my little. She could teach my dog. Um, <laughs> you know, my dog leash. But this is just a, a regular um, tarp to go with like a picnic table. I was thinking if the table's dirty or something. And then this is just a, a beach mat too to go in front of the door to try to keep the sand out and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is all my kitchen stuff. I have a little mini rice cooker that I use for a lot of um, cooking. I love cooking rice and beans and stuff like that. And also, yes, I love this one too. Little oh, mini dash. yeah, I used to have what one of those. What is it? A little mini dash. You just uh, plug it into my Blue Eddy 700 yeah. because the jackery won't power it. Mm -hmm. But you can cook an egg in here, a sausage, you can toast, you can put. I, I eat English muffins, so I'll toast my muffins in there with the egg and just make you a little quick little sandwich. And it only stays on for a couple of minutes, so it doesn't take that much power, yeah. you know. So anyway, this is just cooking supplies in that one. This is my, oh, that's cooking, but this is my garage. I have a lantern. This is milk, that's shelf-stable milk. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. that too. I bring that. I have a um, duct tape. I have a hatchet. Mm -hmm. I have... This for if I have to cut a branch mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay, let's see that from the side. I'm not sure the camera. I can't. There's the light on the. Oh wow! Yeah, that'll so do it. If you have to cut some branches or. This is a, um, a 30 amp for a campground. Yes. You know, if I have to plug in my Blue Eddy, whatever you can use this convert to it, yeah. convert it at a campground. Uh, um, this is a little Lunatech which pressurizes up and you could use it to wash your dog or your face whatever um, hey. thank you now i need it <laughs> <laughs> little burst so i figured so i could nice. wash her off at night her feet and stuff like that tell me the brand of that because people are definitely going to want to know where to find that in tech and um uh, i got that on for me from tech bonnie plays here but when it, she washes her hair with this uh -huh. I have a, um, my Ryobi lantern, which works better at R -Y -O -B -I, night. R-Y-O-B-I, I guess that's an yes. I don't know. It's a lantern for lantern, night. Yeah. That, see, because my chair goes up, it exposes all of this here. So this is my um, my guards, my window guards, to keep the bugs out. Mm -hmm. you know? Back here is my little sink, the expandable sink. To wash mm -hmm. dishes with or hand wash clothes if you needed to yeah i don't know what you Take call that if you had to. this is all my dry good food stuff storage. this goes in there so i have ramen noodle and chicken 
mashed potatoes and stuff like that. My oatmeal. Keep that away. All of this away of canned goods. Oh, it's like a bed tray almost. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Put it at the floor there by my uh, fridge if I needed to just go. Oh. What brand? Super. Super jar. jar. Here. I mean, this is just towels and um, my um, English muffins and extra things like that. It's amazing. But stuff in here, huh? Clorox wipes. This is just water. And dishes too. And these are just bowls. Storage containers. Expandable bowls. This is a little frying pan nonstick. Uh huh. Kind of neatly, all that fits in one spot. Yeah. And this is just a desk I ordered, which comes with this little oh. thing. I thought I could hide stuff in it. This is all of my silverware. Mm -hmm. You don't need much, do you? No. Try to think of things I would need, like get many size greater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, the little brush, the mini brush. And in case you want to make a turkey. Everything's yeah. on the mini side. <laughs> I use it for basting oil on vegetables and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, if you're going to, because you just want to cover a little bit of olive oil and stuff. That's my strainer. This is my the Bronner's. Just little bitty bottles of oil. I had a can opener, a cleaning sponge. This is my seasonings. So nice. Pepper and typical things you can buy and an extra coffee cup chicken broth mm -hmm. <laughs> here's the best way to bring chicken broth you know it's dry you just add it's powder you just add water to right. it this is a bucket expandable bucket oh my goodness all the stuff i have i can't believe all the stuff i have taken it out this is my oil so i can also I can spray my food yeah, it's enough oil to store to pour in a pan to cook something. Also, to spray my food. This is ketchup and mustard. I don't refrigerate my ketchup and mustard. This is Dr. Bronner's in water. I saw just to kind of wet your dish down. And let If you need to let it soak, you know. And this is vinegar. And what I want to do is bring one of each to see which one works the best. Or both, or I, mix them. I mix them. You mix them? I mix them. This is just extra butane, um, aluminum foil, Ziploc bags, and this is the stove guard to go around your stove when you're cooking to keep the fumes, you know, the um, if the wind's blowing. Right. So, so I just keep all that stored up in here. And then this little cubby here an extension cord but this is fire starter fire starter yep uh fire starter log this is a shovel bungee cords and mosquito um repellent this is uh lighter <laughs> this is um battery starter oh yeah and jump start. Jump start. And up in here, I have um, to uh, air up my tires, air compressor. Mm, yeah. And I just have two fix the flats that one slips up here, I, I realized, that, uh, because I couldn't get them to fit. But it slips up behind my tire. And put this one here. That's just for, you know, just in case. Mm -hmm. And your weather tech actually fits into your window and stays there. I don't have one that fits in my window and stays there, but oh. I want that too. Yeah, these work really, really good. So I just, I, lo I love them to the work because they, they go in so easy and I've, I've walked around it at night, you know, and I couldn't see inside my van. Yeah. Um, for the last several months, because tweaking little things here and there. So I'd sleep in my driveway with, and, um, and wake up and the next morning okay well i gotta do this i need to fix this so i think it's a good idea too to sleep in it at your home base where you still have everything and you can take things out or put things in and make changes while you're still home before you leave so how do you feel about the meetup really good i'd say when i first left the house 
I live um, south of New Orleans. Before I got to New Orleans, I was ready to turn around and go back home. I was so anxious. I had so much anxiety, and I thought, I've been studying this for so long and wanting to do this for so long. I just have to work through it, you know, and just get there and see. I can't not go now. But I was anxious, so I can relate to people who are anxious, you know, trying getting started and going out there it is hard at first you do have a lot of anxiety but once you get there it's it's much better and uh, you know you just feel uh, like I'm glad I did this I'm glad I didn't stay home and and gave up because I almost did <laughs> but I worked through it so I know there'll be other camping trips ahead of me yeah if you have any inkling I would say get out of here just try it get through that anxiety you know I mean it's gonna be there because we all I think we've all had it probably everybody has it at the beginning I don't think I'm the only one you are not the only one no but it was tough as I was close to tears and I was wanting to turn around but I'm so glad I did because I mean we're stuck a long time and with COVID and we had hurricane issues so the I didn't go on vacation. I was stuck. I feel like I haven't been out the house in several years now. So that was might have been part of the anxiety, you know, just having a safe, cozy place at home. But there's so much to see and so much to do and experience that yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I pushed through it. <laughs>